Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And we start today's video at Stratford upon Avon, taking an aerial view or a bird's eye view of the station where things look different from what they were at the end of the last video where I left off. If you watched the last video, right at the end, I noticed that the station seemed to be recessed a little into the ground compared to the road. So the, the actual station buildings were about two or three meters down. So off camera, oh, and also you may remember I had to have a level crossing and then had to build that bridge in the distance. I've left that intentionally so that I can explain this. So off camera, I thought, let me use the move it tool to lift the entire station a couple of meters just to see what happens it seems to have done the job i still have to have a dip for the tunnel so instead of having a level crossing it is now a tunnel but it does work a lot better which is great in today's video i'm going to remove the bits with the bridge so the only reason i left that in is so that you can see the height difference probably stick a second tunnel there hoping that it works and then try to build this all the way to Batley. In theory this should take the entire video half an hour 45 minutes but in reality it may or may not work. There's only one way to find out make sure you stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, to give you a better idea of the of the size, uh, the height difference, there it is. And so that you have a better idea of the tunnel, there it is. The tunnel does work quite well. It is just a little bit, a little bit steep on this side, but not too, not too bad. I have seen uh, far worse and driven on far worse. And this side is of a very, very gentle gradient. So, let's go ahead and demolish this road again. This road is, is having quite, a, quite an interesting time. And instead, I'm going to get this building. I am waiting for an autosave at any moment, by the way. So I'm going to get this building just until... The road is crossed. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But if I do that, I could have a road with a bridge. Which would just be... Which would be really interesting because it, in in a way, this is just the opposite of Batley. So, Batley had next to the station, you had the bridge and then the tunnel. And then here you've got the tunnel and then the bridge um, I could just do that this is a possibility but I think I'm just going to do this and all I wanted to do is reach just past the tunnel that is what I'm going to try and make it do and then over here I can actually in theory start connecting these up like that there we go next up comes the tunnel so I will go ahead and grab this do that and yeah, just just do that and an easy way for me to bring this tunnel back is just to shrink it almost to a nothing distance that might be just a little bit too close so I'm just going to use the flatten tool ever so slightly okay bits more than that just to bring 
Why is it why is it like that? Just to bring these two sides out a touch. Put the road back in. Uh, drop it. Drop the tunnel again. And that is it's not quite where I want it. You know what? That that will do. That will do. And then smooth the terrain as usual. Around the embankment. It doesn't look too bad. It does not look too bad. Now, after that has been done, so this this piece is this piece is completed. The next problem is actually getting too badly and as I said that I do not want to be one of the things I do not want to do is have a bridge that just spans mile upon mile here so this is this is approximately three three and a half miles this bit here not a lot in in the real world but certainly three and a half miles between stations is is realistic that does happen in fact just a couple of hundred meters between stations can be a thing but in terms of a bridge, I do not want a bridge that is going to span three and a half miles, nor do I want a tunnel spanning that much either. We could, I could just do a cutting. So similar to if we head all the way up. Come on. Come on. Oh dear. This area, I have a cutting all the way through here, and this is quite a cutting. I think I'm going to do that. I think I am going to do another one of those. So, this isn't going to be the most perfect thing, but I'm going to try and find a, a good spot. So, for example, if if I end up doing, so I go over this and then maybe run along here, then go into a cutting, then a tunnel. Okay. So first, let me try and figure out. Oh, there was that issue, wasn't there, with, with this bit. This does not like being where it is. So, if I do that, it should stay in the tunnel. Stay in the tunnel. There we go. And then I work out where exactly I want to lift it. So, I first turn, so I'll first turn around in that direction, there. I'll then run effectively a straight line for another, that is quite a long tunnel already. At that point, I am at the highest point. There is just no way out of this unless I climb. So, hold on, turn this in a little bit further. Let's start climbing. Let's see what... This climb is going to take a long time as well. There. That is where it wants to come out. This isn't terrible. But it is a really long tunnel. This this entire bit here is in a tunnel. Which is not going to be the, the most enjoyable scenic experience. I can tell you that much. But I think... I think I have no choice. I genuinely think I have no choice here. This, this is 
the best I'm going to manage to manage to do. So I'll do that. And now I am out of the tunnel. Now what I could do, what I very much shall do, is connect this bit up, but turn this into a cut. Yes, that looks okay. In fact, I'm going to turn this into a cut from there. And let's see how deep a cut I can make. Uh, apparently that. That seems reasonable. So that is what, a one and a half, that's a one mile tunnel, isn't it? No, it is more than a mile. That tunnel is a mile and a bit. Okay. So that's one and one third miles long. That isn't the worst. That isn't really the worst. Um, a train going through this at 100 miles per hour will be through in under a minute. So, okay, not the worst. Certainly not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. Now here, I want to be able to drop down a little. Do I want to be able to drop down a little? Hang on, measurement time, 77.5 to 78.1. No, I have to stay at this level. Oh, that is going to be nasty. That is going to be really nasty. No, that's 81 meters. I can bring that down a bit. In fact, I will bring that down. If I can bring that down to about 70 meters, get rid of you. There we go, 70 meters. But bring that down smoothly. In fact, if I bring it down to 71 meters, I shall then be able to flatten it out when I do that, apparently it's 67 meters, that is not ideal. 68 meters, okay. So, that could work, there we go, there's the 70. And that should now stay at, in theory, apparently now it's back up to 71. Why, why is that a thing? That is quite a descent, though. I could smooth that out. I can smooth that one out. Imagine the road coming along here. Next thing you know, you're driving along here. You're driving, you're driving, you're driving, you're driving. Suddenly, train. That would be quite interesting to see. And then we'll go over this and over that. But this is so low down. This is at 29.5. This is going to be a 50 meter viaduct. This is not. There has got to be a better way of doing this. Can I go around this side and just keep it a little bit higher up than instead of that? I probably can. So can I do this? That is such a big... I mean, I have seen viaducts this big. I have been under viaducts that are this high above uh, above the um, above the road. And you, you just sort of look up at it. You're, you're in a car about here and you're just looking up and you cannot see the top of it. So it isn't that this is not... This is, this is not unheard of. 
Yeah, th this is certainly not unheard of. This is not unprecedented. Keeping the speed up for it, though, is going to be a problem. I want... A th Can I get something that has a much thicker base? Uh, these pillars just seem a little bit spindly. I suppose not. No, I suppose not. Okay. It, that is a bridge. Uh, I guess this is... I will get back to this. I will definitely get back to this. Right, once this bridge is done... That is... Honestly... It just, it looks strange against the landscape. It really does look strange against the landscape, but I'm going to, I'm going to try it and see how it works. It is getting smaller now, which is what I wanted. And I would say as soon as it crosses, yeah, as soon as, as soon as we cross, this bit. See, at that point, it's more like a normal bridge. So as soon as I do that... Come on, bridge. I'll get rid of this bit. And say... Well, hello. To... Viaduct. Not viaduct, sorry. Um, hello to... This, not quite actually. I'll do it from there. There we go. That seems a little bit better. So this part, not an issue. This really winding bridge section. How long is this? Let's find out. No, it isn't that long. It's longer than that. Oh, no. That is correct. Okay. That's uh, over a mile of viaduct. One mile of viaduct, one mile of... I'm not keen on that. There has to be a better way to do this. So I could bridge there, bring back an embankment along here and then try to cut it across what if the tunnel came out here but then the tunnel is too long just working with this so this section of this section of railway is actually really difficult to... It is proven to be really, really difficult to make because it is so hilly. And I'm just trying to find the best options for this. See, I think this is not a good... This is not good. I do not think this is a good way forward. What if I just did a normal bridge and then turned it around that way? Okay, I'm going to leave this bridge in for now. But, out of curiosity, if at this point I kept it flat, no, flat, that's it. Keep it flat. Oh, just bit of railway. How did that end up there? Can I? Yes, I can. I was going to say, can I do exactly what I'm about to try? This is a really bad time, autosave. Saving whilst I'm doing this could go really badly wrong. 
and I'd rather not lose all of this. Just, just wait. Be patient. Just wait for it to do what it needs to do. And then it should all work. Here's the theory. Okay. It has not imploded. Always a positive. Always a positive. This, this one looks sort of acceptable. Maybe I will need to slow this down. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe I need to do this. Get it a little bit further and then do that. There we go. See, that, that is a much more acceptable height for a bridge. A much more acceptable height. Now the question is, how fast can I get this bridge? 80. So, down to 80 we go for the bridge. Um... Do I want to do that or do I want to go back to Viaduct? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? 80 across the bridge. That is where I'm starting. I'm going to bridge up this whole area. Okay. Now look at the difference in height here. This just looks far more acceptable as a viaduct. While this one, for, for the length it is, if it was just, say, there to there, that to that, say, okay, that looks quite good. But the, just the sheer length of it um, at that height is it's just a little much. Okay, so now we end up going across like this and connecting like that. Okay, to be honest, from the distance, that other viaduct did look kind of impressive. Just, just towering over. But from... From here, that still looks fairly good. So let's go ahead and demolish this failed idea of a viaduct. Come on, all the way. That's it. That's one, that's one. Two or three pieces left to go. Two, one, and there we go. Okay. A much better... A much better viaduct experience. Uh, this bit is going to need some work. No. Hang on. Better. Much better. There we go. That's where I can actually put a road in here. Which will probably be happening because... Well look, that there along there is, is actually a valid road. Anything that I can improve further with this. So if you were along this road, you would see that. Which does not look terrible. If you are up here, you'd start to come over the hill and start to see a viaduct, which is kind of cool. If you were out on this side, you would look into the distance and see a massive viaduct. Sure. If you're all the way out here, you are seeing absolutely nothing. It is over the hill. Yes, it is actually over the... Right, it is hidden by the hill. And if you're down at the water here, you will see the tops of the viaduct. I mean, I think... I think that is a better option overall. 
What would have been nice is to have the viaduct being straight. So instead of having it bending like this, it would be nice, nice to have far straighter sections. But that is probably not going to happen. I could, up to about here, put an embankment though and drop the viaduct length even further. No. Now, for now, I'm just going to keep it as it is, like this. Now, just to be very clear as to what is going to happen here, because of the nature of this, what I should have done is not connected that there. I should have connected that there. Viaduct or embankment? Uh, no, viaduct. Oh, I say viaduct. At this point, I suppose it's just bridge. And then we have the idea of that as we approach the station, which speeds can be sorted out later on. That seems like a, a reasonable distance. What, what do we have? Half a mile? Yeah, about half a mile for that. Good. This bit, we'll start building. Let's actually ensure that we can build it across properly. There we go. Last thing I want is something disappearing. I've had issues with that previously. And then we'll sort this out again as well at a later time. But for now, that looks reasonable. So two track viaduct all the way through. Has that messed anything up here? No, good. Good, good, good all the way along, keep bringing it across. The reason I'm doing this in smaller sections is keeping an eye out for what you may have seen just there. See those, the various different sizes of the arches. So I'm trying to maybe keep the arches as small as possible, like that. Uh, this one is a little wide. I may look at doing something there. go and then finally this is where the arch may fall apart a little if the arch has to stay wide We're starting to get a little bit more in the way of wider arches as we approach the bridge ah now that was not what I wanted That should be okay. There we go. Low bridge. It is quite low, but I will deal with that. Now we come to the, the cutting side again. Do I want this to be even deeper than it is? Probably not. There is just no real way of me being able to, unless I lifted this up. Oh, I did lift it up, didn't I? Because on this side, it is at, what, 36. And then when it comes out this side, it is at 64. I did lift this tunnel up. Okay, time to get the length of the tunnel. Two kilometers. One and one and a third. One and a third miles. That is 
a lot. I say one and a third, one and a quarter miles actually. Um, okay. Okay, that is, that is fine. Um, also, because of mistake, I remember doing this. I could do that. I didn't think of this. I did not think of this. Instead of a tunnel, a little tunnel, and then... I could have it open for a bit and then back into a tunnel. Um, why did I not think of that as a as a thing? Well, could, could I could I bring it out of this at, and connect it like that? It's a bit close for the, to the station to do that, but okay. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. I could, I could even do that. This is a possibility. Possibilities are opening up here. Then I can do that. This is, that is very close though. That there is very, very close for the tunnel. Uh, okay. Open it up, split it in the tunnel. Yeah, split it in the tunnel, maybe just here. There we go. because that is exactly how a tunnel is supposed to work. Okay. Um, track from here to there. Let's get these four tracks in. That one is going to keep going for a while, so no need to worry about that. Let's do that. Yes, that will have to do. I think that is probably the best option I have. Interesting, interesting tunnel work though. I'm interested in seeing how that pans out. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, although that is just for two, yeah, this is four. I was going to say, if it, if it was two, I could have tried to use one of those old tunnels again. Um, yes, I think this is, this is perhaps a better option. There we go. Sure. Uh, a little bit of extra work, and then the tunnel is just that bit there, which I, I guess is okay. So that brings the tunnel down to what? A mile? Roughly. Brings it down to roughly a mile. Okay. Uh, fine. And then, what was I going to try? Breaking this, connecting it up, and trying to do a different tunnel. Was it this one that I have to do first? I do this one first. And then I do this one, and it should just build the tunnel correctly. Yes. Unfortunately, again, the inside of the tunnel just does not... does not correlate to this properly, unfortunately. But the rest of this... is... okay. So we now have a connection to Stratford-upon-Avon. It's also time to... Go back, go forward, sorry, in time, post bus to, let's go, oh, we have a, a whole bunch of uh, London, Brighton, South Coast stuff available. H1 class, ooh, Great Western, 
Got some more tank engines. 262. These could be interesting. We have a lot of trains available. I'm just going to run through them. Oh, we have large Great Western tender engines. Now that is something I think I'm going to have to use. The, the express trains are going to become those big Great Western engines. I think they have to. And there we go. That is... That is all of that connected. Next, what I'm going to have to do in the next part is sort all of this out. Is there anything I can do here in the meantime? I could probably start throwing the railway in. So the railway will have to be... Yes, the railway will have to be on this side. I can actually quite easily... So this bit is sort of already done for me. So this is splitting into those two, those two lines, which is exactly what I want. So I can s kind of add this now and not have to, not have to particularly worry about the other side. That's not the kind of speeds I was looking for. That is the kind of elevation change I'm looking for, though. Right, I will, I will have to come back and deal with these speeds. All of them. Three hundred meters. It's only one train. 400 and 450 meters. I think that could... The train would already be braking, though. That That is the thing. At the speeds they would be going, at 450 meters, the train is already braking. Let's see what I can do here. That looks a little better that curve is a lot better so I'm just trying to do a few things before ending this video just to have things ready to go uh, going forward because all of this is going to end up being double track anyway so if I do it now then we are effectively ready to go. This is where it becomes a 70, isn't it? So if I do that, I know that this bit is different. This bit is different. And then here we already have it opened up. Look, that bit is already opened. So I could already connect this up. I should probably keep this speed lower. I'll come back to that. Comes into here and then I have the mess. Although I have two options here. What if I... No, I do not have two options here because there is no way for me to go out towards Sudbury. I was going to say, what if I do not go to Kingsbridge? What if the express train goes to Sudbury instead? Which would, would that be an easier option? Come along here, along here, and then actually create a whole new junction across this. Okay. There is an interesting option. Instead of going to Kingsbridge I go to Sudbury and the the actual train line would be then Brack so what would the path be Bracknell Ely down a market Sudbury so I'd go along there across it let me pause this 
along there across here. So we'd have a, a peel off just here. Along that, right up here through this, through this, through this. Oh yes, Berwick upon Tweed. Through that, up across. That could really work. And then the other line, you'll have a, a stopping service going through there and a stopping service that goes through Ollerton, Merryport, and then down to Shepshed and Sudbury. So you have a stopping service that goes there. This stopping service would peel off and go in that direction. If I really wanted to... In the future, if I really wanted to, I could have a completely different express service going Taunton, Chagford, Bridge North, uh, Shepton Mallet, New Romney, because the new, new, Rom new Romney line, try to say that five times quickly, New Romney line, new, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, this New Romney line could go across there and over to the, to the forgotten, to the forgotten town. Hmm. Or I could just leave it and just have that one express line that goes through the through the entire thing. Or I could have an express line that starts here in Attleborough, Barnstable, comes across West Mersey, Litchfield, New Romney, comes back back Shepton Mallet comes down joins on to this line here so instead of going Croydon it turns off in that direction and that one comes down along the express route as well that would be an interesting one so the, this this side will have express lines Ollerton Alford Bentham would not have, although that being said, I mean, the, the express line would be, what, Asselborough. So you'd start here, you'd skip Barnstable, fly straight through that, stop in West Mersey, skip Litchfield, skip New Romney, stop in Shepton Mallet, skip Batley, skip Stratford, and then head towards Taunton. Or go through, use the same line from Croydon, this bit, but then peel off here. Peel off here on top, go over this, head in this direction. Oh, that's Stratford. Wait, no, that, that won't work. Head towards Chagford. Skip Chagford, just go straight to Taunton. Okay, these are all options I have that I'm not going to take right now. What I'm going to do is take a screenshot to end the video. That is what I'm going to do. Um, this is a better screenshot. Perhaps get an angle on this. Uh, that is not a great angle. It doesn't really show much. Oh, I said there was there was an angle from here, wasn't there? Yes. There we go. A mighty... In fact, I, I need to get a, a really good angle of the entire viaduct. How am I going to do that and still make it look decent? Well, whilst I'm doing that, I shall do my outro. So, oh, that's terrible. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to click on the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Any suggestions you might have. So that's a little wobble there. Hold on, I just need to check this. There is, there's a... That there... Hmm. Okay, I might need to go back and, and do that. Anyway, 
as I said, uh, your comments, suggestions, they would be really, really helpful. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon, link in the description box below, as a links to my social media and Discord server. That is all from me, and I shall see you next time in Tron Sports Fever 2, the UK modded series, where I suppose I need to do some detailing for this. Once the detailing is done, I need to figure out where the trains are going to terminate and then get the line running. So that is probably going to be the next two videos already planned out. So make sure you stay tuned for those. Thank you very much once again. And I shall see you next time for more UK style building.